Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? Hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. This is Shahzadi Akhtar, Assistant Teacher of Science of National Radial English Version School, Deshif. Today I am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 students. My dear students, our today's topic, chapter 8, word meaning, short question answer and broad question answer. Today's lecture number 7 and SW number 6. Now we will start our class. My dear students, this is chapter 8. Chapter 8, Hygiene. Today we will discuss word meaning, short question answer and broad question answer. First of all, word meaning, number 1, Hygiene. What is the meaning of hygiene? Hygiene means the way how people keep themselves or their environment clean, especially to prevent disease. I am repeating, hygiene means the way how people keep themselves or their environment clean, especially to prevent disease. Number two, invisible. Invisible means impossible to see. Impossible to see. Jam means a very small organism that causes disease. Jam means a very small organism that causes disease. And last one, recover. Recover means to get back something lost, specially health, ability, etc. I'm repeating, recover means to get back something lost, specially health, ability, etc. My dear students, now, short question answer, number one. What should you do after using toilets? Answer will be, we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stools. We have to use toilet, toilets properly and wash our hands with clean water and soap after using toilets. I am repeating this question answer. Why, what should you do after using toilets? Answer will be, we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stools. We have to use toilets properly and wash our hands with clean water and soap after using toilets. Now, second <coughs> short question answer, uh, explain how to wash your hands properly. Answer will be, germs can get into our bodies when we touch our mouth eyes or nose with dirty hands. Dirty hands can spread germs when we touch something. Washing our hands with soap and clean water is the best and simplest way to prevent disease. Now, next one, short question number three, where are the germs found? Answer will be, germs are everywhere. Germs can spread through the air from person to person when an infected person sneezes or coughs. Germs can spread through insects such as mosquitoes and flies. I am repeating, germs are everywhere. Germs can spread through the air from person to person when an infected person sneezes or coughs. Germs, germs can spread through insects such as mosquitoes and flies. Last short question answer, short question number 4. Why do we need a clean environment to stay healthy? So will be and in order to maintain a beautiful and energetic life we need a clean environment we need to clean our surrounding to reduce the spread of germs germ free environment helps us to stay healthy that is why we need a clean environment my dear friends now we will discuss broad question number one mention three ways to keep the environment clean Mention three ways to keep the environment clean. Answer will be, we need to clean our environment to reduce the spread of germs. Three ways to keep our environment clean are given below. Number one, we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stools. Number two, in our houses or schools, we have to wipe the benches tables, chairs and sweep the floor to keep it clean. Number three, we should put garbage such as kitchen waste, paper and banana skin in a dustbin or in a specific place. My dear students, I am repeating, we need to clean our environment to reduce the spread of germs. Three ways to keep our environment clean are given below. Number one, we should keep our Keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through 
urine and stools. Number two, in our houses or schools, we have to wipe the benches, tables, chairs and sweep the floor to keep it clean. Number three, we should put garbage such as kitchen wastes, paper and banana skin in a dustbin or in a specific place. Now, last one, broad question number two, give four good habits to prevent diseases. Answer will be, our body has a natural ability to fight against diseases and destroy germs. Four good habits to prevent diseases are given below. Number one, to prevent diseases, we have to take care of our body by keeping it neat and clean. Number two, washing our hands with soap and clean water is the best way to prevent disease. Number three, we should drink safe water to prevent disease. Number four, we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stool. My dear students, I am repeating this broad question answer. Give four good habits to prevent diseases. Answer, our body has a natural ability to fight against disease and destroy germs. Four good habits to prevent diseases are given below. Number one, to prevent diseases, we have to take care of our body by keeping it neat and clean. Number two, washing our hands with soap and clean water is the best way to prevent disease. Number three, we should drink safe water to prevent disease. Number four, we should keep toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and food. My dear students, today's SW number six and <coughs> word meaning and broad question answer is your SW. Do this uh, topic as your SW word meaning and broad question number one. Submit it on Saturday. My dear students, I hope all of you have understood our today's topic. Memorize properly this uh, word meaning, short question and broad question answer. See you again in the next class. Allah Hafiz.